And either two of these, either one of these teams can take them. So flashes into A. NBK completely through the smoke. Didn't see any of that. Down the Lexi B will go as well. Speaking of down, MIBR will be sinking towards the water in bottom nuke as well. A ding and a dong from Lucas and Valde has been lost. Four versus three man advantage for MIBR. Choosing meta plant. It will be for Decon. Watching the taps as a bomb gets planted. And so post plant man advantage for MIBR. Definitely looking to lock this down. And they've got every advantage going into this now. All three from OG are going ramp, however. And so this could this could be the one edge that OG have. If they can get this headshot on the man holding behind the site is KNG, who has been the hero for MIBR. He is not going to survive for long, and the rest of his teammates are going to clean up. It's a big lurk smoke, though. But if any pop flashes come, you'll hear them. Problems by Squeaky. That'll focus his attention. That's a bomb carrier down. And while players have made their way down, they're going to have to go back up to get this bomb. Oh, God, they've got huge problems now. East is already notorious with the CZ725. There's another one in the hands of Alexi B. A disaster for MIBR. Can't have the last man carrying the bomb in case he falls. There's no one to pick it up afterwards. There's no one to take the bat on. Lucas collecting an M4A4. Little utility on Lucas as well. Currently 4 for 1 as well as VSM. Oh, that's a lovely burst from Alexi B. Confidence from the man. He's had some... Work their way through into Garage, and working as a duo means that they should be able to trade. And nicely done here by MIBR. That's exactly how that's supposed to go. Catching one out in the open. The firepower is there, and now it's a two on two. Yeah, OG have all the info, though, I'd say, where MIBR were. Nice cover from NBK. Has he done enough damage? VSM's down to 9 HP. Not sure where Mantu is. Sure, he'll roll with the pistol. Up top, in fact, the HU will surely be enough. He can't get away, but they've done colossal damage. See? Footsteps can be heard on the roof. There's a fair amount still left for OG. Look at the push we're seeing now from both of them. NBK won't go down again. That fast fire rate. Not sure if the second play was seen on the kill cam. But the push is coming through squeaky now. Someone's got to hold an angle on heaven though. There are no grenades there thrown from the outside for MIBR. Seems KNG will try to fight players downstairs perhaps. Yes, I'm trying to find an angle, but as you can see, this worked out. And then there were two. TRK has to pick up the bomb here and make a decision very quickly indeed. KNG went down earlier on. To still cut him off, however, as they cross into the open. And they could very well go for the next one around. And he is going to not hesitate and take the first man. No greed here from him. With 10 seconds on the clock, TRK is going to make a mad dash down to the lower site. And he should be able to get the bomb planted just in the nick of time. It's a 1v1 and Montu. Surely TRK doesn't expect an angle to his left at this point, though. Oh, Montu is fun. Hasn't seen him! Unbelievable. Instant 180. Oh, Montu is such a team man. Sacks himself so that Isa can pick up a gun. Nice wall bank though. Dark Isa down to 10 HP. NBK with a double though. That 5 7 is just lethal. Brings it back to a 2 on 2. Even a little bit of wall bank through the hunt, but they are still going to be able to get this bomb planted here in my BR. Now it's a question of whether or not Velda can find the headshots. He's got that rifle and he is walking in. He's going to get the angle, but the, oh, the hit punch. Was that was what he was hoping for to catch KNG out here? Ah, he's getting spotted in the end, so 300 bucks for Leo. A kill to his marker. 26 seconds though. MIBR needs a breach. He still will have a shadow advantage to his right hand side. He's got some sound cues as well. TRK won't be able to do anything, but Lucas will be able to trade. He's got some foot support as well, but NBK again playing for time now. Defending the A bomb site. 10 seconds to stop someone from committing to a bomb plant here. He's halfway there. Lucas is able to respond, however. He really has to get this. A wall bang from Manti would be amazing right now. Alexi B trying to show presence, but. Down he will go, rings the bell, but that's not enough to take out KNG, but through the wall, Valde will deliver, and there's a headshot from him as well. It's going to be an awkward fight, we'll see how much OG wants of this. Valde gets his bell rung down to 24 HP, won't outstay his welcome, though. Three frags from him, including the HG grenade. So confident, Valde. Now we've got some more shenanigans, as the AWP is stuck by T-Red, and I don't think it's going anywhere. KNG would have had to buy Kevlar in this round to really pick up the AWP. One for one will be in favor of MIBR, especially with, with a minute 20 on the clock. KNG looking for the peaks, unbeknownst to... Yeah, there was going to be a trade, potentially, from Alexi B. Just read the X-ray for a second there. Catching the reload is Isa, but again, VSM is here. Fast moving rounds now on Nuke. Suddenly, it's a disadvantage for MIBR. The dry peak spotted, but Lucas has made his way in. They weren't expecting that, but Alexi B is here to clean up, bleaching the floors of the A-bomb site. Seven rounds for OG. Krieg is out. Again, he's a 
<laughs> well, he sees a falling VSM and that Krieg again at close range. Flexi B with some classic angles. Is he ready for the second player though in TRK? Looks like he might be. That's 35 HP. Maybe not. Two versus two now. Where does TRK choose to go? He doesn't know what is safe. If he goes outside, that bomb is surely lost by Valde. NBK playing some offense in the meantime. Being dropped by Lucas. Another bomb can make its way in. You can see Valde showing some presence up top. He hasn't collected the kit that was... Oh, he wouldn't need the kit. Too many man on roads. MIBR with the angles. MIBR, it's been painful for them to identify the formations of OG. Seen many HEs through the window upstairs, but pretty successful ones. Again, all the off angles NBK has been playing. This time it's easier to clean up afterwards. And at halftime, it's nine rounds for OG. Surprising considering the start, but it's always about how you finish. It's break time. When we're back, more international Counter-Strike. We'll see you back here soon. Quarantine, baby. As it is going to be the push from OG. And oh, okay, Genji just a second too late. They're sandwiched into main. However, he is going to drop. Issa is going to find Lucas, and this is all over the place. The defense is looking pretty solid. Although, as I say that, all the headshots, TRK has got to back off, and it's all on VSM. He's got a lot to do. Lexi B creeping on the outside. Bomb planted down on the inside. Bomb has been planted. Expired. Nuclear rocks in the water. Oh, validate foot fetish. But uh, VSM wants none of that. Make his way down eventually, Lexi B. Very patient indeed. CRK now, it's got quite a job to do, but he won't last very long. So KNG's patience has been rewarded. Man to looking to make the first play into the A-bomb site, curling around the corner. But we've got Smokes in A as well to try and isolate the fight. Look at all the CTs on the A-bomb site. 35 seconds force into the open, it's Lucas. NPK with the MP7. Onto TRK. Three on two now. Suddenly OG have an advantage. But time may not be on their side as Leo creeps around Squeaky and drops the bomb. Does Montu get this kill here though? This is going to be the big one. Uh, not quite the jiggle. And so that is oh, going to be the God. solid hold coming in. VSM with two monster kills in the end there. Saw it coming from a mile away. Got that flank sorted. Which you should throw out now. And <laughs> this is so annoying. Second flash, jumping through. Oh, he survives! TRK survives with 11 health! Oh, there's a tag through the rafters as well. KNG focusing on the ramp. TRK is here to save. He's still alive and he's still doing damage. That bomb is very tick though. Net Alexi, he, he could get on this. The smoke though, is it covering enough? He's so low, KNG. Just one bullet required. And behind the smoke, he will steal around for MIPR. An expensive one, but they're alive. Oh, two kills there. That just didn't happen for OG. Ooh, the crouch peak from Alexi B. How's he done that with Vayne Punch included? He's a bomb carrier as well. Oh no, this one's falling apart. Bomb's going to be planted. There's only two left. An overperformance. NBK with that Kevlar just taking fights and winning them. Oh, and they spotted out. Oh, and there it is. Alexi P with the headshot. KNG! They got complacent at MIBR. They were starting to feel good about themselves, and then they got punished. The score won't be. There's OG heading towards 13. KNG running for his life. The hunt continues. It's extremely awkward. This is wasting a lot of OG's time as well, but they will be rewarded for it. So perhaps it's paid off after all. If there escapes that though, then OG are playing to MIBR's fiddle for most of that time. And now maybe they can do something. KNG looking to get aggressive. Does he go for a dry pick? He just walks straight through it. The scope has surely been heard though by Alexi B. And then there were three. After an aggressive start from MIBR and some good damage, no frags, and things are falling to pieces bit by bit across the map, outside, and now inside. Uh, nope, MBK, that was awkward. But there's Issa taking down Lucas. TRK now, last man alive, a single M4, that's fine. Perfect cross, and Blaze Bird, and he gets two of them, Lucas. Oh my god, KNG didn't even pull the trigger, I don't think. Issa, great awareness for that send kill. Issa will go back and look to entertain yet more. He could even be a train dragger if required. Well, the bomb has been dropped. He said, though, he's so low, but he's got to do try and do something. Won't make it on this occasion. Now, TRK has a decision to make, A or B. But, I mean, it is a 1v2. Involved is lit, so... It's looking like the man's going to try to make it happen here for his team. Live the dream, and... Man, Matu, that was... Didn't even give him a chance. Just instant death. Doesn't look like it. It will be a ramp play. Two players in. SMG will fail. Okay, then. We've got a chance here. They've done 
more than you could have expected. Somehow with a man advantage for now. We'll see if they can collect some rifles later on. OG don't really have enough players to try and lurk, but Vade will take a chance. Flash goes in. Smoke as well. MBK wins the first duel, though. This is it. Now, does he keep his cool? Of course he does. The natural point killer, another one, and he's going to get the third and final kill. Quad kill for MBK in the final round of Nuke. 16 to 10, the final score. He positioned himself so well. That was just a great demonstration in itself, how he tried to go to the very edge. And then magic happens. All the best players. Simple Zyri Bardolf, Peter 50. <laughs> yeah, man, that Bardolf is legendary. Simple as I will wake up screaming at night. <laughs> yeah. Which one? Which bus three is going to be number one? December. Lucas with a swinging USP in CT. Goes from bad to worse here for OG. Left by paper cuts in the pistol round. Leo will get a cheap helmet. Maybe Lucas will as well. I feel like he probably got headshot. Three on three. Oh no, four on three. Yeah. Too much mess. Yeah, but they got the, they got rid of that uh, graveyard player, so this is big. Now they just need to find the ones posted up on site. The rotations have already come through very quick. BSM gonna find another one. Alexi, be a split second too late. And now the deny comes through. TRK posted up there. These guys are just like, how many players are on a site right now? This is getting a bit outrageous. One v two, and Isa is now stuck in the pit, and it looks like TRK knows it. TRK is not giving him anything to work with here. Chicken's going crazy. That's got to be distracting. Double team. But we've got Riflers on both sides. KNG's missed a second shot, and that gives NBK free reign to eliminate him. Making progress towards A now. Still got VSM here. Well, this is about to get real frisky, isn't it? VSM there. Oh, of course, VSM. He's too good. <laughs> if this guy starts warming up. Well, there are three now coming up from that short position down into the balcony. They managed to get KNG out of position. We've got some support flashbacks. TRK still alive for now. KNG delivering from long range. Anissa has gone all of 11 HP. A very simple fake offered by OG. Well, maybe not a fake, but enough to invite a rotation of a second player. They do not want to lose this wire round. Leo, by the well, has the one flashbang for the team. They shouldn't hear this one coming. There we go. There's a swing. Valde in the pool position. Will be good. Oh, it's happening again, isn't it? One rifle and four pistols. And this is the round that OG win. I told you. It's the one they like to lose, MIBR. Oh, the discipline, though, not to peek from pit. TRK instead long range. TRK with the he's gonna get a kill with the MP9, and this is just spinning completely out of control. They're getting picked off one after the other. Four players here for MIBR just proves to be too much. Lucas in that nasty position up on the box as well. It's just it's MBK, he's gonna walk into a crossfire no matter what he does, exactly. They're just gonna pick him apart like a pack of hyenas. Bardolf, and it's not looking any prettier here. MBK is going to be brave and charge right out onto short, and well, KNG going to get spotted from the balcony. Still manages to take one with him. TRK is alive on the side as well, and he's got the angle on pit. Going to find the kill on Mantu. Two players remain now for OG, holding their ground, and the bomb is stuck in pit. So Velda, he's got to find a way to get down here. Ooh. Nice shot onto TRK, though. That was a brilliant headshot. If it was a bit more shallow, then maybe there would be a chance of that. Leo's... Why wait? Doesn't get the angle he's looking for though, and that smoke will soon be gone. So now what does Valde do? 30 seconds to make a play. Clutch Master Valde. Gotta be careful that his back isn't showing. VSM creeping now. Moving towards that vest bar, and there it is from Valde. Almost always favor him in a clutch. Surprise AWP found as well. But still too ready in pit for this push, and it is OG going to commit to the A site. KG's gone back into uh, Speedway, but because of a two-man spray down, will really make things advantageous. Almost getting the third, but it's Valde, and he's almost indeletable. Man advantage for uh, MIBR, but the rotation is quite long. Two plays recently leaving the B-bomb site, but KG will still peak with the AWP. Alexi B now looking for a flank in the boiler position, but KG's crouching at the moment. He'll find him eventually. But I don't think he'll realize the potential insta-flank from Leo. So he could be vulnerable here. In the meantime, VSM needs to try and show some presence to distract in the meantime. Alexi B could turn around to help from long, but he's very aware of this. That's unbelievable. That leaves VSM now on a one versus two. There we go. Last player in the pit. The Molotov is there. He's surely got to force him open. 
Oh, Alexi B, he's going to get roasted here, ultimately. That's great play from VSM. A massive turnaround, but no diffuse kit, no round. It's going to be three for OG, and VSA may not survive this. Ooh, it's going to be close. <laughs> oh, three oh. Reaching the 30-second mark. Oh, boy. They've separated. One's committed and one hasn't. Oh, they stuck in the corner, it seems. In the smoke for now. Leo, they're lining up for him. Looking for the spray transfer. That's a very good start for him. He knows where the final two are now. They can play against this. 16 seconds. They've got to get a bomb plant. Aesop moving past double stack. Three kill for VSM or maybe not. That's a, such, such a crucial frag for Aesop. Defensive bomb plant. Oh, he's not going to survive that one into the pillar as well for extra damage. But it's Valde who's the last man standing. I mean, no one of them is. And TRK so patient with the Desert Eagle. MIBR and Deagles, I told you, it will be 11 rounds for MIBR at halftime. Dude, MIBRs and Deagles. It's ridiculous. KNG going to be able to... Hey, he's going to net that diffuse, though. All right, TRK, you get the shot, but... I'll get the diffuse, and we will get an 11th round. 11-4 at the end of the first half here for MIBR on the CT side. It would be a true, uh, I mean, kick in the face for OG, although it is going to get straight into the action here. Isa and NBK trying to set up that crossfire, and it's already working out. They've got two kills before KNG can strike back and take NBK out of the picture. And there's Leo taking Issa. Just like that, we're into a three-on-three, three, and KNG has caught them. Valda now toe-to-toe -to -toe with KNG at top mid, and he goes down. It's all on Alexi B now in a 1v3. And my BR setting themselves up for massive success here on Inferno. This, I this is a death knell for OG. Yeah, it really is. Difficult situation for them. No kit for Alexi B. Perhaps there's one on the side. I'm not sure, but it won't matter because. Yeah, that push from Alexi now is just, they're just catching on. That was such a nicely done. All right, well, we'll get into that, because they might be all right now. They are going to be pushing onto the site. Velda's going to get caught, unfortunately, for him. Alexi B on the flank does take down Leo, though. So we're still into a man advantage for OG. Bomb going to get planted. Nice attempt at denying the default plant. At least that uh, that was interesting. But TRK is still going to be stuck here. And that's a Ooh. big kill. Two on two now for the retake. I thought that HE was going to do lots of damage. Did almost none. Good angles from MIBR, and boy, this is a bad one for OG. They were in a strong position. We were talking about just winning the round with numbers alive, but Isa has no kit. He's just staring at what could have been here in this round as he'll watch it slowly fade away. I think he's trying to make it expensive, but really it's the CT money that's a problem here. If you assume with 14 HP, he's got to run for it. Isa should be good to survive, but OG may not survive far longer as MIBR make it to 14. It's really nice of ESM to, to to just draw that attention over to the B site. Uh, only a single player here. It's Alexi B to hold down the fort on the B site once again. And what is this? NK is rotating back through mid. They are going to go all in on this. Alexi B, though, the hero! Two kills somehow. He absolutely had to get two kills in that situation. Oh KNG, though, going to catch Monty trying Ooh. to push the smoke. And he nearly gets another no scope through. One more. There it is, quick scope. Oh, this is so good. MIBR can do no wrong. He's on a 4K, looking for an ace KNG in crazy fashion. Such a little time to defend the bomb plant there. Shotgun mode as they did what they could, OG. NBK has a kit, though. He's got to find out where the other player is. He's made the footstep. He knows they're on the way. I think he's done it deliberately, but he walked into the sandwich. Game point for MIBR. One minute on the clock as the bomb will be collected. DSM. Oh, well, he spotted half of it, and there's the other half. Nothing going the way of OG here on Inferno. Will there be a trade from Lucas on that Molly? The timing, but KNG lurks and delivers once again. Four on two. They read the rotation, perhaps, but KNG doesn't care. Valde trying to jump up on double stack, doesn't make it there. KNG battle sniper mode, and Valde is just doing way more than is reasonable, but eventually he'll die as well. Alexi B creeping up short now. VSM is dead. Our screen's black, but I know TRK's in the balcony looking for him. Alexi B seems to know this. He's going to elevate his position. So close, but not quite. It will be 16 to 4 for MIBR. All over Inferno. Sweet revenge for Nuke. Yeah, TRK. MIBR, the Brazilians. Leo uh, going to get charged down. Mountu actually super aggressive into Pop Dog. Nearly got a freebie there. But it is going to be a quick answer. KNG going long range with the Glock. Not advised. 
Alexi B and Valde are gonna find headshots there. Two man advantage now for OG. A lot of shuffling around in CT spawn. A lot of sound cues as you can see MBK holding an off angle now. I think he made a footstep though, which has been heard. Going for some pre-fire, but again, just buying time for his teammates. It's a numbers fall for MIBR. VSM may not get a bomb plant from this one. Lands a headshot, but again, with the Glock, it's just not enough. Oh, oh this is so strange, isn't it? This is just the darkest timeline for MIBR. Thank <sighs> you for playing. That's very unfortunate indeed, isn't it? But... There is a play into the B-bomb site, so the bomb will get planted. A forward spring to try and buy some real estate on the B-bomb site. So, MIPR could still do some work here. Wow. Yeah, getting the bomb plant out of this situation is actually really big. Valda's gonna find one though, and now VSM between the trains trying to, uh, to catch somebody out. He is now gonna be alone, and it looks like they figured out that this guy's somewhere in the smoke, and he is gone. Velda with both kills. He did have a little bit of help there from Alexi B. 30 seconds on the clock. Again, still a chance to do more damage, OG. Being patient. I hate staring at angles for long periods of time. Really slows down your reactions, but maybe not if you're Alexi B. Crouch pick from TRK. Still 15 seconds to do more impact. Lucas puts Isa in red, but needs to make a play now. Smoke fading from A main as Alexi B's lost on Ivy. That's a huge position for Lucas to take. Really limits where the CTs can stand, and there's not many two stand left just yet. Now it's Mantu with a. He gets the collateral. You're going to get OG spending that money. And you held on to the essentials on your side, so. Well, there's a dead man. Yeah. Oh, D still takes one with him. That is so good. Oh, the fadeaway shot in the smoke as well from Bantu. Get out of here. Man advantage now for OG going into the retake, but that is by no means easy. On the B site, the flank is going to be crucial. Isa steps in, spots KNG, but does not net the kill. And now TRK on the side as well. Could very well. Yep. Take down NBK. Life's gonna get difficult. Alexi B does not miss the shot, and so now it's a 1v2. Do they have a smoke? Looked like they did, and they are gonna be getting on that bomb. No kit, though. Does Kanji has no way of knowing this. Oh my god. You had to wonder. I think his smoke grenade went a bit too deep there. Alexi B able to see over the top. It comes a swing with a flashbang that's supposed to create some space or spot one on heaven. NBK trying to make his way down, stuck on top of the ladder, but he has made it down. There will be a big defense here from OG. MIBR closer to the site. There's an IV peak from Alexi B. Dancing around the hell position, but KNG will trade him. And now it's KNG alone. One versus three. Misses the flick. Valde, of course. Six to one OG. Well, East is dead in ladder room. NBK has elevated himself, but he's got to be careful. He'll be boosting over the smoke. NBK has got a lot to do now. Big task on his shoulders. That's a good start. Headshot to Leo, trying to take out Lucas as well. Multi frags not there, but Mantu will allow KNG to walk straight into his reticle. Spots won by Ebox as well. And disadvantage for OG. The flanks on the way from Alexi B, but won't come in time to save Mantu. He'll be traded, but this can be done. Scope is close, and Lucas is starting to wonder. Alexi B with the sound cues for free. Flanking with the Deagle now. And this will get him halfway there. He knows the other player is by that hell position. Oh, if he held it, then who knows? Stop sign now as Alexi B makes his way forward alongside Red. And finally, VSM will win the dance. On Valda right here. This man. Does he manage to hold the line? Two players about to go crashing onto this B side. He turns away. Finds the first shot. Instantly traded. Well done. Alexi B, however. Johnny on the spot. Looks like he spotted out TRK on the high ground as well. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Uh, so is the time for MIBR. 10 seconds on the clock as they're trying to cross a crucial kill from Lucas. Very dangerous situations for him with that bomb on both bomb sites. Issa coming in from the back. How on earth does he try and defuse this bomb? Planted in the middle of the site. He just got sound cues for one of the players, but... Where could they have moved to? I don't know. Oh, Lucas had a chance, but he was not looking in the right direction. He's at the scene. Now he finally has the trade off the ladder from TRK will work. He knows what could be happening. They've got to get, pay attention to hell now, these CTs, but they're not ready for it just yet. Lucas spots the second one. Waiting for the duel, but Mantu will hold down the position. Leo's lurking as well with the bomb. He needs help. KNG's made his way through Ivy, and he takes NBK out as he's focusing towards Sandwich, shot in the back. But it will be a flank from Mantu, but will it come in time as Issa gets dropped as well? Well, that is, he's gotten very clever, and he's going to get shot in the back of the head. Mantu, however, will trade it. And so only two survive for before long. He, uh, Lucas, is going to be in this standoff. And is holding close. Issa drawing attention to Pop Dog as well. 
That's all this is about. Nicely done, though. Issa going to catch TRK, and that might force Lucas's hand. DK, let's see if he is rewarded for his patience. Oh, he's starting to back off. He's second-guessing, and that's the opportunity. That's all Lucas is waiting for, and he couldn't have peaked at a better time. Two on two. That boost could be absolutely crucial. Leo just making it in time. Falde surely gets a free frag here. Leo walking to his... Oh my god, almost, but not quite. Now, where is Lucas? That's the question. The bomb is planted for him. There's no guarantee that he's here, though, but will he have the angles? Alexi B going for the full defuse in the smoke. Lucas doesn't believe he's found him. He's isolated the fight, but Valde through the box says, no, it's not isolated. Sam Q will be heard as Leo makes his way towards hell. IV smokes off already. One up heaven, but not much longer, though. Big fights around E-Box. So many smokes on the site. Two versus two. Bomb still in the hands of MIBR. Three of the four players on A. Odd man out is Mantu. Quick scope from KNG. Mantu now needs to make his way down the ladder. He scoped in already, which makes things awkward, but... Oh. He didn't want to give the way to sound cube with the scope. He accidentally did with the ladder. I don't know if that's been heard. Oh, boy. There's a bomb in main as well. Misses the flick, and Lucas will finish the seventh round for MIBR. So... With brutal force... As the smoke is going to come through, should get a flash. Not even now. There it is. Delayed. KNG, though, going to get clean two kills. Could find the third as well. Looking for the fight. He's going to win it. Beautiful work here from KNG. And he is just so calm, cool, and collected. Picks up all three kills and absolutely locks down this B site for his team. Well, that is ruthless. Identifying the positions of the enemies. The problem is they all identified his head with their USPs. All quickly headed towards the B bomb site. We can see Lucas lurking far away on Ivy, but it might be our closer connector for the most part. The rotation can be reasonably quick. Slip jumping through the smoke, and there's a ding dong from Alexi B at close range, and a FAMAS has been collected. Nicely done, though. KNG is cleaning up here. Molly in the back as well, forcing him up onto the train. But Mantu now with the FAMAS, and Mantu with the double! Nearly the triple! Valda takes down KNG. It's all on TRK now, and he is going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He's got half health, and Issa is on the high ground with full. But he's only got a P250. Not the best weapon to stop this defuse if it's coming through. TRK hoping that Issa is going to overstep himself. And without the kit... Oh, well, he does have the kit. Issa! Oh, he needs one more! Get it! Oh, gee! Clutch it out! A hard ego! Straight into the action here. This is all gonna come down to timing. How does it work out? As the smokes are down, there it is, the spot. Traded one for one. TRK at least putting up a fight there. Manages to get that going his way. And at Ivy, it's Issa winning out against Lucas. It's KNG and Leo. Last two alive now for MIBR. In the back line, but they're not gonna be able to, just, to stop that bomb from getting planted. Well, that's no. just unfortunate for Lexi. He has a kit, Leo, and I think he's going to go for this, but it's a, it can be a simple lineup. He's got to get on that quickly, however. The spray will come from Pop Dog straight in the head. Utter denial as KNG tries to survive. Got some shadow advantage, but doesn't have the round at all. Wow. Maybe holding on a little too long. Maybe there's a gap anyway. Patient shot from KNG. Issa trying to get towards Connector, which can be very important. I think one's going towards Oil. That's NBK. Very important diagonal angle, and he goes to pursue yet further, but that gives a chance to Lucas. Four on two now as MIBR looking for a rare round on their CT side here on train. Man two, one versus four. Shotgun mode, nice flick onto Lucas. He's got half a chance as well, but he's missed a crucial shot. And another one. They're going to be in a holding pattern until it's gone, and now it has. Doesn't know what the situation is towards hell, but he's seen Man two towards E box. Fade away flashbang to buy some time. 3v3 looking towards Connector. Blind and Alexi B's taking one in the face. That bomb is ticking, however. Mantu towards IV. Suddenly it's only Leo and he drops quickly as well. Oh, but look at this rotation. Third player over, as well as somebody close by. TRK's in Pop Dog. There's VSM. Holds the line. Finds the first shot on NBK. Leo on top. Managed to find another one at range. All, all the kills coming through here for MIBR. It's Mantu just like that in a 1v4. How did this happen? Disaster for the. Oh, well, he's gone. That's it. 10 to 14. MIBR backs to the wall. But uh, right now, it is MIBR believing that this is going to be a B hit. 
They are fully trusting in KNG to hold this in the step. Easiest shot of KNG's life. He's not going to miss that one. Alexi B, unfortunately, not going to be able to connect either. KNG manages to sneak his way past. And now double smokes going down. Nicely done there. But we got to see some amazing work coming in from OG. Alexi B, he might find something here. He's seen the barrel of the gun. But as he scopes it, KNG's just too fast. The trade is here from Valde. Slowly repositioning towards E-Box. They're still focused on Bob Dog, But is this a consideration for them? I think it might be with that HG grenade. Both waiting for a peek. Which way does he choose to go? Lucas with a grenade in his hand. Leo with an instant trade. So important. That was a scary one. Have a look at his position from Valde. How on earth can he get that frag? Are you serious, KNG? Is there anything this man can't do here at Flashpoint 2? It is actually a bit ridiculous that he manages to get that kill, but... The angle should not be favoring him whatsoever. That smoke way overshot, however, but against an AWP, not going to matter. He's going to make the play, though. Alexi B finds a kill of his own, and now Alexi B steps into the open, finds a big kill. It's a one-on-one -on -one clutch, and Alexi B now going to be dancing the dance with KNG. P250 in hand here for KNG, and time is running out. He finds the shot, but he doesn't have time for the defuse. OG, make it happen. 15 to 13. This is where MIBR do not thrive. OG are swarming everywhere. They really are like the Zerg army at the moment. Five on three. They're planting the bomb. Leo's getting tapped to pieces. Oh god, it had to be this way, didn't it? It's kind of classic for where they are at the moment. TRK, old bomb. He can't take a 1v1 and lose. He can't be traded. He's got to get a multi-frag. There we go. Stereo kills for MIBR. That bomb's ticking. TRK has a kit, however. LXCP's in a horrible situation. TRK's slow to respond, which leaves KNG alone with the AWP. Just trying to avoid him. Looking for the flick. Missing it, though. The double peak is potentially on. One more to headshot from Mantu, and that is a wrap. Of course, with pistols. OG do it. It's the only way they can do it. Versus MIBR. Their biggest Achilles heel there. Pistols. All right.